Hi everyone, it's Kylie from Painted Wing. In this video, I'm playing a round of Schmicko's Super Granulating Watercolor Paints. I purchased these paints last summer, but I haven't really gotten to play around with them yet. These paints come in individual tubes, but I bought mine in a set. If you buy these in a set, it comes in this box right here. The set that I got is the Tundra colors. They come with a Tundra Orange, a Tundra Rose, a Tundra Violet, a Tundra Blue, and a Tundra Green. I'm going to first start off by swatching these colors, and then I'll show you how I utilize these in a series of paintings I just created. The tubes in the set are 15 milliliters, but I believe they also come in 5 milliliter tubes if you want to try out a smaller portion, because they can be quite spendy. These paints are made out of multiple pigments, and the colors separate out as the paint dries, and it creates these interesting granulating grainy effects. I heard you can mix your own granulating colors, but sometimes I'm pretty lazy and I just want to jump right into the painting process. So if you're like me, these can be a great option. I'm also not the most knowledgeable person on paint pigments and creating colors, so I won't be going into too much detail about that. Instead, I'll be showing some paintings I created. So I created some swatches with the single colors, and I'm going to create some swatches where two different colors mix a little. So here's those fully dried swatches. I do think these paints look better in large, loose washes, as the effects don't always show up in tight areas or if you're not using enough water. And then here's the washes of mixing the colors. I just splashed some water in some of them to really create that granulating effect. For these paints, I'll mainly be using them for abstract, layered washes. If you're familiar with my work, my animal portraits usually go from detailed in the face of the subject and then transition to loose washes. I already use a lot of earth tones in my paintings, such as oranges and browns, but I enjoyed the addition of using the purple color in the set to contrast against the warm yellow ochre I usually use. I use these paint colors as an inspiration for an African wildlife series. I didn't use these paints for the entire painting. I mainly used them just at the bottom of the painting and for the abstract washes. I will first be showing a zebra portrait I painted, and then I'll be showing an ostrich. The reason I didn't use them for the entire portrait is because sometimes I think the granulating effect can be too much, so instead I'm sort of using them as an accent to my painting.
And here's the final results of all the paintings I created so far. So I have my ostrich with these pretty big abstract little blobs here. And then I also created an African wild dog. I only used a little bit of these paints. I used some of the purple and orange over here. And then I also added a little blob over here. You can see there's kind of a teal color poking through. I also added a little salt to the wash as well. And then I also created a giraffe. I add these paints to the lower portion of its neck and also to the wash in between its eyes. And then here's a cheetah. For the cheetah, I mainly created it into the lower right hand corner. And I also layered some spots on top of it. Then I also painted a rhino. I added small hints of the violet into the gray wash of the rhino. And then here's the final results of the zebra. If you're interested, I'll have a full tutorial of the zebra on my Patreon account. If you don't have all these paint colors though, I will have alternatives you can use. Since they only make up the abstract portion, it's not really a big deal if you don't have every color. And then here's the painting of an impala. Again, I used the granuling paints for the abstract splattery parts of the painting. I wanted the normal color of the Impala to kind of blend into these granulating colors. So here's an example of a tundra orange paired with the violet. And then lastly, I painted a meerkat. The meerkat doesn't have as many of these colors in it because I wanted to use a lot of negative space for this painting. If you want to see the painting process of some of these other paintings I didn't show, I did create shorts or reels on my Instagram and Facebook pages. If you want to check those out, I'll have the links in my video description. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye now.